all here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us for this day. And it's truly a celebration to be reunited in person. I'm so thrilled to be able to present the work of four female living composers, uh, joined by my female colleagues. Uh, that's one of the liberties of being artistic director. I guess I can do what I want. <laughs> uh, but this is really thrilling. The experiences we've had, we performed this program last week on the West Coast. The re responses were that people were so moved and touched by the music and inspired by it. So I hope we can convey that same wonderful energy and imagination that this music um, it emits in, in our, our minds and our hearts. Your being here means so much to us. Without your presence, we're merely paying for our cameras, which our guys have been wonderful. Zach and John have been doing an amazing job presenting our concerts. But without your presence, it's only half of the experience for us. So I really am so grateful that you decided to join us today. Um, my colleagues, I bring them out with me very soon, are outstanding players. I'm, I'm always so honored to be able to have them on the stage to uh, share this moment with me. And it's just so lovely to see familiar faces, familiar eyes for now. So um, thank you so much again for being here and supporting Concordia. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to go and grab my colleagues. So thank you.
so much for being here. It means so much to us to be able to play for you. So thank you so much. It's so great to see all of you from here up. <laughs> uh, the next piece we're going to be playing is by Lisa Bialawa, who is a wonderful composer and person. She lives in New York. She's an incredible singer in addition to being a fabulous composer um, and was a member of the Philip Glass Singing Ensemble for a long time. Uh, the piece that we're going to play for you is called The Trojan Women, and I think you have incredible program notes, so those will be super useful uh, throughout the concert for all of these pieces. But I did want to mention one thing that Lisa did these past couple of years that's been really interesting. Uh, she created a project called Broadcast From Home, where she sent out sort of a mass email to all of her friends and colleagues and just had a prompt every week. Uh, this was like right after the, the lockdown and just had said, please send me your thoughts about how you're feeling about this particular thing this week. And she ended up creating sort of like a musical, a musical journal of the very beginning parts of 2020. And it's really beautiful and very moving. Um, and I highly recommend checking that out. It's all on her website and it's called Broadcast From Home. But we'll be playing two movements of her three movement string quartet, the Trojan Women.
I know there's only four pieces on this program, but it's technically the second to last piece, which sounds very strange because I feel like we just started. Um, <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, uh, the next piece is by um, Jennifer Higdon, and um, um, again, you have wonderful program notes, so I wanted to share just a personal experience with Jennifer's piece. Um, the first time I actually ever played one of her pieces was an all-state high school orchestra. Um, long time ago, we won't say when, but uh, um, uh, it was really fascinating. Um, you know, Peoria, Illinois, all these like 14 to 18 year olds um, playing new music and you're like, what, what does it entail? Turns out um, it was this fantastic piece called Blue Cathedral. And um, uh, at the end of the piece, a select number of people in the orchestra get to hold um, these little balls with bells inside of them and shake them um, at the end to kind of evoke this really magical and ethereal atmosphere. Uh, it, it ended up that the people who had the privilege to shake these bells were the people who were going to be uh, sitting in the last few stands of each section, which meant that when audition came, time came rolling around for all state orchestra, we all wanted to pay, play the bells. So we all played as like terribly as we could so that we would all be able to sit in the last chair somehow and play bells. Um, it was a total mess. <laughs> uh, but needless to say, that piece really um, had a big impact on me. It was my one of my very first ever um, modern works that I got to experience and play. And it, there's something about Jennifer's language that is so appealing to so many um, people and of all ages. And I think that says a lot about her compositional process and her personality and. Um, just the kind of music that she's able to create. Um, it's for, you know, it's really for everyone and it's just so wonderful. And this piece is also, um, Quiet Art is the second movement of a larger string quartet work. Um, and it has um, really amazing Jennifer-esque qualities to it with so much color and that you almost can see because they're so vivid within the music and the sound. So we hope you enjoy this piece.
gorgeous piece. Uh, and it's very moving for us to play up here. Um, and now we're going to do something completely different <laughs> for the last piece on the program. Uh, the last piece by four of these incredible living women composers. I hope that this maybe will inspire you to check out more of their music. I mean, so much is available online and on YouTube, and it's so fun to, for us, too, to really take a deep dive and getting to know each one of these really personal and incredible compositional voices. Um, the last composer is Gabriela Lena Frank, and she is a Peruvian, Chinese, Lithuanian, Jewish descent. <laughs> <laughs> But her Peruvian side, her mother's Peruvian side, really influences a lot of how she composes her music. So many of her pieces have Peruvian roots and roots in the traditional musics of Peru. And so this piece, Leyendas, which means legends, an Andean walkabout, is basically a tour through music of the Andes. And again, you have amazing program notes that tell you in great detail what exactly she is depicting in each movement. So I would recommend if you have that in front of you to follow along with us as we're going. But basically we're always um, portraying instruments other than our string instruments. So we play guitar, charango, which is another kind of guitar. We play, we mimic flutes, pan pipes, different kinds of wooden flutes different kinds of stories, so it's an incredibly imaginative and inventive piece. And you'll see us making, uh, playing in different parts of the instrument than we have been maybe in, in the other pieces that create a totally different, really beautiful sound world and really depict all of this music that is so special to Gabriela. So we hope you enjoy this Leyendas.
Thank mm-hmm. you.